Hi guys and welcome to the episode 1 of the Edinburgh City Save. Can we go from League 2 up to the dominant team in Edinburgh? Are we going to be able to challenge the Prison Hearts? We'll soon find out. But first, time for an introduction. Hi, I'm David. How are you doing? And I will be going through the save of Edinburgh City. Now, as you can see, we do have one game lined up right away, and that's against our reserves. The bog standard game. Now, Edinburgh City are quite a small team. In all fairness, by the 1928, um, based in Edinburgh, they used to play at Midlink uh, Stadium. However, that is currently being redeveloped. So now they play at the Ainsley Park with Spartans, another famous Edinburgh team, who, coincidentally, had quite a few big scouts in the Scottish Cup, including one against Livingston back in 2006, I believe. So, however, I digress. Let's see these wonderful facilities that we've got. Let's go to the club down floor. Our facilities. So we are currently ground shooting with Spartans in the 3000 capacity Ainsley Park with only 500 of it being seated. We are due, however, to move back into the Middle Bank um, next season. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, we've got a brand new beautiful stadium. However, I can tell you for a fact, in real life, that isn't the date that they move back in. Oh no, no, my friends, that is still getting built at this moment in time. As you can see, we do currently have, um, at below average training facilities, poor data analysis facilities and poor youth facilities, which, to be quite honest, is real annoying because we come from Edinburgh, and we've got back and brilliant football players coming through. Derek Brown, Gary O'Connor, both of these players are in the city at one point. Uh, Paul Hartley came through, however, I don't think he's from Edinburgh, but he did come to the Hibs Academy. Andy Driver at Hearts, um, Pat Stanton, Laurie Riley, players like that, they've all come from Edinburgh born and bred. So I want to use the second tap in to the unused and unknown Edinburgh talents that there is. And I want to take those talents and make them up to the next level. So speaking of those talents, who do we have in the squad that is considered a talent? Well, my friends, Let's have a look. Now, first of all, this boy here, Blair Henderson. My goodness, he is going to lose my line. It seems that he's a target man poacher. Doesn't really work in formation I'm going with. However, I might adapt it for him. To me, he is our Eric Holland. Now, he might not be the quickest. He might not be the strongest. However, he's got 15 finishing in the fourth team of Scottish football. That's incredible for anyone. And I'm not being funny, I would put my on him um, for the show top goal scorer. Let's see his um, previous stats. Let's have a little look. Last year, he scored 38 and 35 games. Can I get more for him? Well, we'll see. Yeah, he all needs to remain fit. That's the main issue. He needs to remain fit. Now, if we look at other stars in this team, there is Conrad Balatoni, our current captain. 28 years old, he's English now, he's got a wealth of experience. Yeah, started at Hearts. Lucky for some No, nah, but he started at Hearts, went to Partick, Kilmarnock. He's basically just your Scottish journeyman. I mean, he's done the Central Belt in Glasgow and then a wee bit of time in ARA, Kilmarnock, and Ayrton himself. So, there's an interesting captain. Now, you're going through this team. Callum Crane, another excellent talent, former Hibs youth, I believe. Let's have a wee scout down. There he is, Hibs. Only played one time. He's never played real life before, and he's absolutely fantastic. So, I'll be leaning on him quite heavily for my left back spot. Alex Harris, another, another amazing former Hibs talent. Unfortunately, two injury prone ways at Hibs. However, he's come back and he's resolved himself. He's a fantastic player, Alex Harris. Um, any Falkirk fans watching this, I do apologise about bringing this up, but please do remember that Scottish Cup semi-final when Alex Harris came on and you were 3-0 up and thanks to him we won 4-3. I'm not saying the final result because that was horrible for ourselves. You've got guys like Kelly Mason, who is on loan from Hearts. He's a fantastic goalkeeper. Can I keep him in the season? Who knows? Aidan Wilson, on loan from Rangers. Rangers, Hearts, Hibs, Celtic, Kilmarnock, have all got fantastic youth academies. So I need to tap into that. 
I need to find the best talent that is free and available, or that I can even bring on loan. Can I maybe get? I don't know what to think of this. Can I maybe get a an affiliate club? Who knows? I'd love an affiliate club. I'd love Hibs, Hearts, Livingston, Kilmarnock, someone like that to be my affiliate, so they can bring the best players to me, and I can develop their players. Or better yet, I can make their players my friend. So when it comes to um, being brought up and those players' contracts are up, we've got six months left at Kilmarnock, and let's say the Premiership, and then let's say we are sitting in the Championship. Pretty. Where do you want to go? Do you want to develop with a new team or do you want to just stay status quo? Personally, I go to the new team. You know the players, you get a new manager, bish bash bosh. However, not my decision. So I've overall got quite a good squad. Andy Black, I recognise that name. Is he a Hibs? Yeah, as a youth player. Um. Don't know why I recognise his name though, but I don't know. I'm thinking of Andrew Blake, who plays for who plays for Hibs and is from New Zealand. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few former Hibs players here. Um, Callum Antel, a Welsh goalkeeper. He's good at being back up, but if I go up, I'm going to have to get rid of him. Now we're talking about if I go up, I don't know how I'm going to lose him all the way to glory. But do I have the to do it? A lot of it. Got good money in the bank, to be fair. Half, half a million pounds is absolutely fantastic for any level in Scotland, let alone the fourth tier. Do bear that in mind, we're in the fourth tier. So, we're not going to attract worldies, but we will attract the best players that are going in our ranges. Let's have a look at the club vision. What does the chairman expect me in this season? He wants me to reach the playoffs. I think that's doable. I'll come back to how the league works in a minute. The Royal Hulk Scottish Cup fourth round, once again, all depends on the draws. I get a team, whether it's not Air United or a Dunfair one, in the third round, all depends on how strong my current team are. So I'm just going to wait and see. The Betfred Cup is supposed to be competitive. Fair enough. I can do competitive. Does he want me to win a couple of games? Does he want me to draw a couple of games? Who knows? He wants me to be competitive. So long as I'm there, let's see what I can do. Now, what is not shown is the Tunnock's Wayfair Cup. Yes, yes, yes. The cup that was last at. In Scotland, there is a cup where the National League teams from England, the top division team in Northern Ireland, the top division teams from Republic of Ireland and Wales all come together and play called the Tunnock's Carroll Wafer Cup. Oh, and I forgot the reserves as well. The Scottish reserves. So we've got the Tunnock Carroll Wafer Cup. Folks, that is good. It is named after a biscuit. A bloody brilliant biscuit, may I say so myself, but a cup that's named after a biscuit, it's not the greatest. It's, it's not a really cup, it just used to be tiers uh, 2 to 4, they play each other, knockout formation, fish bash bosh, done. However, it's now been developed into this big union wide, I guess I'd say. Um, competition? Sorry there, guys, just. Um, Lost my breath for a second, I think it's the excitement of my first ever um, video. But yeah, um, let's have a look at my schedule. Let's, let's dive into this. See what's been arranged. I just, I just moved competitions up, sorry about that, guys. So we start off with our um, reserves, obviously. It's the standard FM save, so obviously. Wolverine and Fissel, um, if you go into your Google and type in Hudson Vale Football Club, that is who Lobby and Fissel are. See? There we go, Lobby and Fissel, Hudson Vale. Hudson Vale have got a fantastic youth academy where our, their players train until they're about 13, 14 and then they get moved across to Edinburgh team for or Hearts if they're good enough normally. So, Gary O'Connor, Derek Ryan, Jason Cummins, um, God, I think Alex has still got Diane Hanlon, potentially, the, the, the names go on and on. Um, so, yeah, they've got a reptile's um, size about them. However, they are in the sixth tier of Scottish football, I believe. Yes, East of Scotland, first division, which is sixth. I don't have that loaded, guys. The loss I've got is the fourth tier. I just want to try this out. Um, next up, we've got a final against Air before we play them in the Betfred Cup. Fantastic. 
David Koplow's interest in what A.R. Albion submerged and ran. Ooh, there's bleeds in the middle. Money spent it freely. Big lead. Now let's just take a look at their reputation. They are three star reputation. Let's take a look at our reputation. One star. It is going to be an absolutely money spinning game for us. So I'm just taking a look at this because I think I'm going to have to get rid of him. Um, although he's our captain, like I said, it's Ballas only. I can go into uh, the reason why because if I get demonetized, I get demonetized. However, um, you can look him up on YouTube. Uh, on Google, it's all I'm saying about this player. Not a fan whatsoever. Um, so yeah, now that's our training schedule. Nothing's changed. Social feeds, it's just a standard, isn't it? Now tactics. Everyone wants a good tactics in FM. I'm going with a simple four one two three. Why? It's simple. The other players that can fill it. I believe so. Let's do a quick pick and have a look. Let's see what they say. So, Danny Hamlin on the left. Alex Harris on the right. Blue Hems up front. They will be my, my triangle of attack. But who have got my triangle of defence? Well, there I've got Sinclair, Brown, and Black. I think it'll be pretty good. I mean, there's also areas that are in this that are red. For example, up here, over there, there's minor issues, major issues. Calm game, for example, because you're attacking, it gives that, may, that gives that major issue. However, you compare that little red square to that big red square, I don't think it's a reason for concern, quite personally. Now, look at that. I've still got spaces in there. I think it's a friendly, but it shows that I've got a very compact team of 11 and 7. So, I've got 18 players. So 18 first team players, I've got Money to spend, but I've got no wages to spend, so I'm going to have to juggle that about. Um, now, I just want to show you one thing really interesting. Oh, two things interesting. Jim, Jim Jeffries is my director of football. Now, anyone who knows anything about Scottish football knows that Jim Jeffries is an ex Hearts le legend. Um, you know, because he managed him during six two defeat. He managed him. Oh, no, sorry, he played for him during seven nil defeat. So yeah, that is Jim Jeffries. I'm not his biggest fan in real life. However, he was recently had a health scare and he's now back at heart. So I do wish all the best for him. I do wish all the best for his health and for his family. Now, as I was saying, I've not got many amazing talents, right? I've only got a reserve, I've not got a number 18, which is very, very unfortunate. However, I've got this guy. Imagine I've got a few. But this guy here, Adam Watson. He's an attacking midfielder. 11 dribbling, 11 finishing. He's, he's good. 8 passing though. Now, the person I'd want to be training as a central midfielder. He can play Ms. Allen support, so maybe. Maybe we'll get him back to being central midfield. But look at this boy here as well, Regan Lumpton. I'm hoping I'm saying that now. He's on loan at Hello Beef. He's currently playing the East of Scotland Premier League Premiership. Oh my days, here we go, East of Scotland Premiership. So, he looks tasty for a 19 year old. He's played four times for us, he's never scored. However, I'm going to get him back next season. I can see him challenging. Then you've got this upper guy here, Grant Savoy. Savory, however you want to say it, Savory. Aye, let's call him Grant Savory. He is all alone from Celtic. Now, let's go ahead to overview. Hmm. It's a striker, not so much. However, it's attacking field grey. He could provide the depth for Alex Harris, which is need to wait and see. Now, in his reports, he does not do that. So, do I bring him in to um oh wow, it only cost me between that. That's not bad. But yeah, he's currently operating a high level low wind. So it'd be good for four William, however at our level, not so so sure. So I'm just gonna go look at the scouting and it's no one recommended. However, he came to you earlier. I don't play attack midfield. I I've not got a preference. 
for or against Tackle and Field. I've just not got that set up. But he does look tasty. Now he is ex Watford and Huddersfield, I think he's Huddersfield, yeah. So he's he's on England journey man of the top leagues, I guess. However, would it be interesting to come here? Who knows? I've offered him a trial. Love to bring him in. I mean look at ninety one hour level. He's coming off another league above and he's got potential to be a premiership. So if you're coming to sit here, be careful. Tier three is league one. That's him there. There's there and then he goes up there. As he goes, he jumps up. So I can bring him in, absolutely amazing segment. However, that's not where I'm looking to strengthen my squad. Because one, I don't play that formation. However, I do have another formation set up ready to go. But I'll show you my team report and show you my squad deck and I'll show you what I'm thinking. So, attacking the two left, I've only got two. So I'm thinking if I can get a loan in there, that'd be ideal. Now, everybody else seems to be covered. I could do another goalkeeper or I could do another centre back. But I play with two. The only reason I could is because I have a second formation. That's right. A 5 3 2. Although I'd call it a 3 5 2, personally. Or a 3 4 3. Whatever you fancy. And as you can see, I've got good players for this. The players fit in the formation. Will I use it? I don't know. Now, let's go back to my schedule. So, as you can see, I've got a few games. So, what I'm thinking, guys, is I will play. The friendlies and I'll do the Betfred Cups offline and then we'll come back for the very first league game against Sterling Albion. How does that sound? I mean, a one-off game against Sterling Albion, I'll catch up with all the other games. Do you want to see the, the preview? Yeah? Cool. See the preview. Where are we going to finish? The media, I think that my computer's going slow. Right, season preview. We are predicted to finish fourth. They want us in the um. They want us in the playoffs. Can we achieve the playoffs? I believe so. However, time will see, and time will tell. Rah rah, the better say. Cove Rangers have just been promoted from the higher league. They have a shed ton of money. I'm not gonna lie, they're rich as hell. I think he's like a huge oil tycoon or something like that. They've got Paul Hartley in charge. That's his vision. Some of the caliber of Paul Hartley, who's once again played for Hibs, Hearts, Celtic, Bristol City, Aberdeen. He's, but you can see there's managers at Alwa, Dundee, Falkirk, now Cove. Yeah. I mean, they've got an interesting manager. However, guys, I'm going to lose this here because we are up to what? 18 minutes. Well, first video, 18 minutes long. Tell you what, guys, we'll come back tomorrow, okay? Now, please like, share, subscribe, follow my Twitter, you know, all that standard stuff. My Twitter is fm underscore Edinburgh. I am not a radio station before anyone thinks that. It's the only handle that they could have that they had left that I could use that involved football.